But some people ask the question like, well, is radio even effective? Well, here's a great analogy. And someone actually recently told me this because now at my new job, I help the sales team. So we do selling radio advertisement. And that was definitely new to me. But he put it in this way. So if you think about it, if you're a car salesman and you are wondering, should I advertise on the radio? You know, am I going to sell any more cars if I, you know, put ads on? Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Who's to know? But if you put a radio ad on the radio right now on any of the stations here in Hawaii and you said, come to our car shop right now, if you are the, among the first 10 people, you get a free car. What's going to happen? Well, 10 people are probably going to show up to your car lot and they're going to be expecting a car because they heard your ad on the radio. So I did, I think in just that one perspective, we know that like radio is effective. It does allow for a, a specific call to action. Um, but I do think that like zooming out even more, it's not just radio anymore. It's, it's audio, right? Like mm -hmm. podcasts. And I think that that is the future of radio is going more into that space of of audio as a whole and podcasting like we're doing right here so yeah like one of the things i always like to talk about is it it should be cooperation over competition yeah that's what or collaboration over competition either one right so for something like radio i would expect it's not a competition between radio and stuff on the internet yeah. it should be a collaboration radio stations should be diving into that and, you know, you have a big business or anything on the internet platforms. It's nothing stopping you from putting that out on the radio, too. Yeah, absolutely. You know, my whole theory is like, hey, get you, it's like take the shotgun approach when you're trying yeah, to reach everybody. Exactly. Just blast it out there to everybody <laughs> at as many venues as you can to reach as many people because you have all these different people listening or watching content on all these different mediums now, you know. Yeah, something really cool that that reminds me actually of that shotgun approach is um, now being with at Salem and, you know, they're a larger radio station than, than what I used to work back in North Dakota. Um, but we do not just radio, but also digital advertising. And there's actually ways to track the metrics of when a radio ad is played during a certain time of the day, uh, we can actually use um, certain statistics to see who had visited that uh, client's website right after hearing the ad. Oh, that's that's awesome. Yeah, so they can like see mm -hmm. when the ad was played and then track it in real time to see if the website saw a spike in uh, visitors. So it's cool to see that there is a correlation that does happen um, from like hearing a radio ad. But I agree with you. Like if you are a business or whatever, if you're trying to get your message out there, there's more ways to do it than just one. And I think that the the more kind of shotgun approach you have, the better chance you're going to have of like actually connecting with with people. So, yeah. So, say the media, you guys have a bunch of podcasts and everything going. Yeah. Uh, and and nationwide, right? It's a nationwide company. It's, it's yeah. pretty awesome. So, say the media group, it's actually um, part of one of the largest Christian broadcasting companies in the nation. Over 117 radio stations. Uh, here in Hawaii, we actually have seven radio stations, but it's not a completely Christian format. Um, so at Salem, we also are with Decades 107.9. Oldies. Oldies. That's we one of our... love oldies. Exactly, right? We got to get some of that Michael Jackson, Mariah Carey, whatever it is. <laughs> He's you know? dancing in the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of feeling it out for sure. Um, but also the country station. So Country 97.5. Um, that's another really big radio station that here in Salem... Uh, of Hawaii, that is part of our um, umbrella, so to speak. So, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, that's just like a little bit about Salem. Um, it, it's cool that, you know, it's more than just one station. Uh, it's more than just a Christian station. You can have multiple formats 